a look at how to use MOSFET in particularly IRL ML0030 PBF. Um, so this is an SMD MOSFET that we're going to look at on how to use this to actually turn on a fan. So a MOSFET has three terminals, a gate, a drain, and a source. Um, usually the source goes to ground and the input voltage it could be plus 5 volts, plus 12 volts whatever is your input voltage that this MOSFET can handle goes into the drain and turning on the switch that is this MOSFET is controlled using this gate so as long as we have a gate signal more than 1.7 volts so it could be from a microcontroller a microcontroller sends out 3.3 volt signals as on using digital write command and uh, Arduino sends a 5 volt signal as a digital on signal so as long as the value is about 1.7 volts what happens is it current from the drain to source okay so let's look at uh, if this MOSFET IRL ML0030 PBF can handle a 12 volt fan. So uh, we connect the 12 volt supply to the drain and the source to the ground and we apply 1.7 volt signal. So the current usage of a typical uh, fan from um, a computer case that you could use to turn on and turn off uh, consume somewhere around 300 milliamps or 0.3 amps so the power that is dissipated is I squared times R um, so we need to find out what this R is so we can look back at the data sheet for this particular MOSFET and it says for 10 volt signal it gives a uh, uh, resistance value of somewhere around 27 the higher the voltage the lower the resistance so around um, let's assume that uh, at 12 volts is somewhere around 30 milli milli ohms um, so let's substitute that value over here so the power equal to I squared times R so it's somewhere around 2.7 milliwatts now if we compare this to the maximum power dissipation for this MOSFET so it's around 1.3 watts at room temperature so this means that this can easily handle turning on this fan at 12 volts uh, while the fan consumes 0.3 amperes of current and to turn off the the particular mo uh, fan what we do is we supply a zero volt off signal once that happens it does not conduct anymore so the drain and source remain separated and once you supply a 5 volt or 3 volt signal um, the fan turns on and this particular switch is turned on using a tiny signal coming out of a microprocessor okay so this is the overall scheme that we have um, so here we have a 12 volt, we have a ground, we connect the 12 volt uh, to the fan and also we supply this to our AT Tiny. AT Tiny is a really small uh, microprocessor and costs around a dollar. Uh, you could also control this using a VMOS D1 or a Node MCU. So this were, this uh, is somewhere around three dollars. Uh, this has uh, uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, so if you want to create a Wi-Fi controlled uh, fan, you can uh, use a VMOS or a Node MCU, anything that has an ESP8266 to control your fan. But in our case, uh, we don't require this Wi-Fi capability. All we have to do is uh, turn on the fan for 30 seconds and turn off the fan for 30 seconds. Uh, I'm going to use this fan in a power uh, supply unit. Uh, so this is a very simple function I don't have to use a Wi-Fi control microcontroller to do this I'm just going to use a uh, DigiSpark 80 tiny so no matter which uh, one you use these give a signal so this gives you a signal of around uh, uh, 
5 volts this gives a signal somewhere around 3.7 volts once this signal is supplied to the gate what it does is it allows this connection to go through okay uh, so the overall scheme is this so the, we are going to build this so um, here we have two terminal posts ground and 12 volts we first connect that to the terminal post of uh, the fan and then complete the connection towards the drain connect the source to the ground connect the ground of the uh, microcontroller to the ground and also connect the VN to the 12 volt source in our case we're going to use the uh, P3 um, as our GPIO output uh, we are going to give a high or a low signal on P3 on our AT tiny uh, and this guy is going to control how long um, the drain and the source are um, connected to each other. code that we're going to use to program our AT Tiny. Um, so in this case you installed in the boards as described on Digispark's website. So you go and select the board. In our case we're just going to use the default 16 megahertz board. So the code is very simple. So we have a toggle. If it's true it turns on the fan. If it is false it turns off the fan. So the pin we're going to use is P3. In the setup we just give the P3 as our output. So initially the fan turns on because the default value is true. And I toggle the, the value to false and then turn this on. It skips this, this area because this part is true and delays for 30 seconds. And in the next iteration, since it's false, it goes and turns off uh, by turning the P3 to low, waits 30 seconds, and now this value is back to true, so it turns on. So it alternates between off and on for every 30 seconds. <laughs> 